A hot air balloon is moving upwards at a constant unknown speed. So as soon as I hear constant speed, I know that A equals to 0 meters per second squared. And then 3.1 says, is the hot is the hot air balloon in free fall? Choose from yes or no. Um, when an object is in free fall, the only force that is acting is gravitational force. And if gravitational force is the only force that is acting, then we are going to have an acceleration of A equals to 9.8 meters per second squared. And here clearly, a is not equals to 9,8 meters per second squared. It is equals to zero. So the hot air balloon is not in free fall. So you're just going to write no. And then you give your reason by saying that acceleration is not equals to 9.8 meters per second squared. Uh, this, this other force is acting on the air balloon. And then uh, before 3.2, there's some statement there that is saying, uh, when the balloon is 200 meters above the ground, a small stone A is dropped uh, from the balloon. Uh, see the diagram above, and yeah, there it is on the left hand side. Another um, small stone B is dropped five seconds later uh, from the balloon while the balloon is still moving upwards at constant velocity. And then we are told that stone A strikes the ground at a speed of 62.68 meters per second. And then we have 3.2 and then 3.2.1. 3.2.1 says, uh, calculate the speed of the uh, hot air balloon. So because um, stone A uh, is dropped, right? Uh, that means that VI of the stone uh, of stone a equals to uh, v of the balloon because stone a is dropped when it is dropped and it was on a balloon because of inertia its vi will be the same as the v of the balloon right and then so what we're gonna do we're gonna use stone a to calculate vi of the balloon because for the balloon, we don't have much information, so we cannot use the balloon. So we're going to use stone A. And then we know that VF of the stone is equals to 62.68 meters per second. I'm saying that uh, because it is said that stone A strikes the ground at 62.68 meters. And we know that the acceleration is equals to minus 9,8 meters per second. So as soon as I say minus... 9.8 i'm taking up as positive right and then what we are interested in is uh, vi so another uh, information we have is uh, the the distance it travels from a to the ground right uh, that is uh, delta y equals to minus 200 meters again i'm saying minus 200 because uh, we're taking up as positive so which formula has a uh, vi vf a and delta y because if we can find a formula with these four variables then we're gonna be able to calculate a uh, vi of the balloon so the formula that has those four variables is vf squared equals to vi squared plus 2a delta y. What is vf? vf is also minus 62.68 because uh, we're taking up as positive and then the stone is going down, right? And then equals to vi squared, which is our unknown variable plus 2 multiplied by a, a is minus 9,8 and then delta y is minus 200. So what we're going to do, we're going to make vi squared the subject to the formula. So we're going to have uh, minus 62.68 squared uh, minus the whole, uh, this whole expression here, uh, which is 2, um, 2, Multiply by minus 
multiply by minus 200 everything uh, is equals to vi squared so let me put this expression in the calculator and see what i get which is giving me 8.7824 uh, equals to vi squared so i can take square roots on both sides i'll get 8.7824 to the power 1 and divided by 2 which gives me 2.9635 uh, meters per second and then 3.2 says uh, the time it takes for uh, stone A to strike the ground uh, we have VF we have VI uh, we want delta T and then we have A right so we can use VF equals to VI plus a delta t uh, what is vf vf is minus 62.68 and then what is vi uh, vi is 2.9635 uh, plus a is minus 9.8 and then everything multiplied by delta t so we're gonna say minus 62.68 uh, minus 2.9635 uh, equals to minus 9.8 uh, delta t uh, divide both sides by 9.8 uh, we get delta t equals to minus 62.68 uh, minus 2.9635 uh, everything divided by uh, minus 9.8 and then if i I put that on my calculator. Uh, I get. Let me just do that real quick. I get. I get six uh, delta t equals to six point six nine eight three seconds, right? So um, we can move to six point two point three. So we have oh to 3.2.3 i'm sorry so the question says uh, distance between the hot air balloon and stone b at the instant uh, when stone a strikes the ground so stone a strikes the ground at t equals to 6 comma uh, 6983 seconds and then stone b is dropped uh five uh, five seconds later uh after stone a is dropped so at this instant stone a has traveled uh one i've traveled 6.6985 minus five right which will be a uh, delta t of of stone b equals to 1.6985 seconds right so this is delta t of stone b right this is the time uh, delta b had spent in motion where a stone b this is the time stone b had spent in motion when stone a struck the ground so we're supposed to find the distance between the hot air balloon and stone b so uh, the hot air balloon we know that it is moving at a constant speed right so to calculate that distance uh, we're gonna we, so we know that vi uh, equals to 2.9 2.9 2 2.9635 and then we know that vf is also 2.9 9635 and we know that uh, acceleration equals to zero and we know that delta t equals to uh, 1.6985 seconds right and then what you are interested in finding uh, is delta y so which equation can we use uh, to find delta y i think we can use quite a few so we can use uh, delta y equals to vi delta t uh, plus 1 over 2 a delta t squared so we know that the acceleration is equal to zero right 
so this uh, part of the equation is gonna fall off so we're gonna get delta delta y equals to vi uh, delta t uh, which is equals to 2.9635 uh, multiplied by 1.6985 uh, which is gonna give me let me put that in my calculator so we have 2.9635 um, multiplied by 1.6985 uh, which gives me uh, 5.0335 uh, meters right and then now this is a delta y for our stone b right uh, for so this is delta y for our balloon and then now for stone uh, b uh, we know that uh, vi equals to 2.9635 uh 9635 we know that acceleration is minus 9.8 uh meters uh, per second squared we know that delta t is equals to 1.6985 seconds and i think this is all we know for stone b so the only formula we can use to find delta y with this information is delta y equals to vi delta t plus 1 over 2 a delta t squared right so what is vi VI is 2.9635 and then delta T is 1.6985 and then plus 1 over 2 A is minus 9,8 uh, delta T again is uh, 1.6985 but now we're squaring uh, which is equals to let me put that in my calculator real quick 2.9635 uh, multiplied by 1.6 uh 985 plus 1 over plus 1 over 2 uh multiply by minus 9,8 multiply by 1.6985 uh squared that gives me my that gives me minus 9.1114 uh, meters right so um now uh the distance in between uh distance um in between uh is gonna be equals to five point zero three three uh plus nine point one 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 uh four uh which is so uh, 5.033 plus 9.1114 uh, which is giving me 14.14 meters. So when you add them, you have to uh, reject the signs because if you pay attention, if you just add them with their signs, then you're not going to get the distance in between. 3.3 says uh, on the same set of axes, uh, draw position time graphs for both the hot air balloon and stone A from the moment the stone is dropped until it strikes the ground. Uh, use the ground as uh, zero reference. Uh, label your graphs balloon A, uh, balloon and A, uh, A being the stone, right? So 3.3. Um, this is my ruler, my x axis. So let's say this is 200 meters, uh, where stone A is dropped, right? And then what happens to the balloon? The balloon keeps going up at constant velocity, right? So here we're gonna have uh, our graph for the balloon, which uh, we are told we should label balloon. And then what happens to the stone? Uh, the stone goes up uh, for some time uh, before it starts going down, right? Because this V initial is 2.9 meters per second, so it will go up for that short amount of time, and then eventually it will go down, and then um, it strikes the ground. So this is our time on our x-axis, and then on the y-axis is our... 
uh, y in meters.